From Southwest Florida, you're watching Fox 4 News at 6. And thank you for joining us for Fox 4 News at 6 tonight. I'm Nadine Giannis. And I'm Shari Armstrong. We are starting tonight with big updates on schools still closed after Hurricane Ian. With school district leaders talking about the future of Caferetta Elementary School. Yeah, that's right. It was badly damaged after Hurricane Ian. Take a look at this video. Sky Fox video taken above Caferetta Elementary right after Hurricane Ian. Well, today students still go to its campus, but they're taking trailer classes in trailers tonight. So what does the future hold? Well, school leaders looking at budgets and options of what rebuilding looks like. Fox Forest Colton Chavez tells us earlier today board members heard several different ideas. Colton joining us live from the elementary school right off of Santa Barbara Boulevard in the Cape. Yeah, that's right. So Colton, take us through these options. Do any of those include actually keeping the existing building right behind you? Yeah, and that's actually what parents were telling me today is like, are we going to be able to stay at the location we're at now? And renovating the school is one of the four options that school leaders heard today. Now, this meeting that they had earlier today was just a briefing, so basically planning for the future. But when I spoke with parents earlier today, they made some pretty quick decisions. Around the corner from Hector Cafarada, the future of the damaged elementary school is out of sight but not out of mind for Cape Coral parents in the pickup line. I think that rebuilding it would be the best bet. I think I would like to see actually it renovated. Options that are now being considered after damages from Hurricane Ian force students out of the building and into these portable classrooms back in mid-December. If the construction itself didn't hold up with the hurricane that happened now, that Honestly, I think that rebuilding it would be the best bet so that we, you know, all around that structurally that it's sound. We are here to present the field. Essentially, what are the available options as we move forward with Hector A. Cafaretta Jr.? At a Lee County School Board briefing, the four options that were laid out to board members were restore the school for an estimated $20 million, demolish and rebuild at the same location for an estimated $60 million, close the current site and build a new K-8 through nearby for an estimated $100 million, or demolish the property and hold it for an estimated cost of $3 million. For Kathy Hartman, who was picking up her grandson, restoring the original school is the way to go and disagrees with moving the school to a new location, despite school leaders saying the option would mean a bigger campus for future growth. A lot of the families are local, and that kind of is, they've already been displaced enough, I think. For other parents like Isela, who told us she wants a new school in the same location, school leaders say that option would take about 12 months to complete, which means more time her kids would have to spend in the portable classrooms. I mean, yeah, my kids actually haven't complained about being in that school. They actually like it better. They think it's cute. And I want to dig back into that final option and what it would be is for them to demolish the school and actually hold the property. And what they would end up doing as school leaders say is sending school uh, children to a different school for next school year while they kind of decide what they want to do moving forward. But as another reminder, this wasn't a decision that was made today. They're going to take these four options and continue to weigh this out. So, of course, you can trust on Fox 4 to follow this developing story and update you both on air and online at fox4now.com. Live in Cape Coral tonight, Colton Chavez, Fox 4. Colton,